Now today we are going to talk about how you can make mass change on a single purchase order. Okay, so first thing we will go to, we are going to go to ME22N. This is a purchase order that you have already created. And suppose the perfect example can be that, oh, you created the purchase order and there is a field called requisitioner field. Generally, that requisitioner field is heavily used for, for the person who will authorize the goods or authorize the service. So generally, those users, suppose you you by mistake maintained or you maintain someone who has left the company or is on sick leave or something so in those cases what you have to do is you need to update those purchase order lines so imagine you have you have 10 lines like this like this po has now you have to update the requisitioner field so let's find what is which is the requisitioner field so suppose it was created as blank and now you realized oh my god so you you will go here and type one by one something okay so i'm just putting student 11 i'm creating and it's painful so you have to enter the same thing you do control c and control v this is annoying so let's be honest that sap is in the business for around more than around 50 years okay around 47 50 48 years and it has been working so successfully SAP people has found a probably a smarter way of doing it. You need to first think that there should be another way, a smarter way to do it. So you have to look around. So whenever you see this button, that means it's fast change. So what you do, you click on this. Okay. Here you have to find that field. So our field is requisition. So what I'm going to do first, let's go slowly. I click on this button. I click on this button fast change now the next thing is i know the field name okay so i'll go and select it please see so this is purchase acquisition that's not the field now the next one that's not the field this is the field requisition now what you are going to do is you can just select this okay and uh, once you have this now suppose in some cases you want to change the currency also okay so these are the two places you are going to change okay now you click on copy and here it's you are by mistake what you did you put it in the wrong currency or it needs to be different currency you can put usd okay and then uh what we are going to do is here we will put student 011 and we just press hit the check button okay and then you just click on execute change once we execute changes we will see the magic okay you see the magic okay the student 011 got changed okay now let's see the currency field so it's hiding somewhere uh, or it's not there also uh okay that screen that field was not there in the screen okay so nevertheless the requisitioner field is updated okay that's the most important thing let me see the probably the currency field can be here somewhere well it's not enabled probably that's why so nevertheless you can update the requisitioner field and what you are going to do is you click on hold because they it still have issues so now it's saved so in this way you can update uh mass like the same value with the same value these so many in one go so rather than going and copy pasting one by one we did in a smarter way so that was what we learned in today's tips and tricks uh stay tuned to my channel and thanks for watching and happy learning